So it seems like people really don't like five laps at Fuddy's. Hey, my name's Komos Khan, and today, guys, we're going to be discussing my opinions and thoughts about five laps at Fuddy's because apparently a lot of people online hate it, and I just want to give them my touches on this subject because, not gonna lie, I really like the game. I have so much fun with the game, and I've been playing it off camera too. Like, most of the complaints about people are complaining about is the graphics and the bugs. Saying basically, it's a, it looks like a Roblox game, and there's a lot of bugs. Here's the thing though. It's a demo. Many people think when it's a demo, it's gonna be like released very soon. But the thing is, Five Laps at Freddy's is coming out in 2025 which is a couple months along the line, and basically we don't know when in 2025 when this game's gonna be coming out. So this game is basically like a teaser basically of what the full game's gonna be like. This, there's gonna be some bugs, gonna be some visual bugs and stuff like that. So I kind of expected this going into it because I have a feeling that Scott kind of made them push this game out just for the anniversary because you gotta have an entire week of stuff to discuss and stuff like that. So like, why not just put, put this out? You guys have been working on it for you. This game's been only working on for like since October 11th, 2023. Because uh, the first little bit image of Click Team was that date. So they were actually hiring people for this game. So this game has been basically in development for not even a year yet because it's not October. So this game is still being worked on very much as of now. So. That explains most of the bugs with the uh, with the game breaking bugs and stuff like this. Because in my honest opinion, it wasn't supposed to come out in this state yet. But Scott kind of made them do this a little bit. I'm not saying Scott forced them to do it, but he probably suggested them, Click Team, to actually push out this demo. I've seen people talk about it left and right. People are saying uh, this game is terrible. And in my opinion, this game is not terrible in the slightest. It's a racing game. It's a cult racing game. I got what I expected, a cult racing game with Five Nights at Freddy's characters. I wasn't expecting anything like Mario Kart or like golf world racing or anything like that. It's what I expected. I think people had too high of expectations for this game in my honest opinion because it's like what were you expecting? There's only going to be 12 characters in 16 stages which is a lot of stages. Not, I'm not going to lie. That's a lot of stages. That's more than I think uh, maybe like Double Dash from the GameCube era of Mario Kart but don't quote me on that. I haven't played a game in ages. But honestly, this game is kind of big, kind of not big. Uh, the most development that actually takes place in these cult games is probably the stages, in my opinion. Uh, there is some problems I have with the game, so let's just talk about that. So, lighting, some of the lighting things is not good looking. I will admit it looks makes the textures and stuff look very bad. Look, looks like they're kind of melty a little bit. But it's a demo, so, you know, they can fix that. Uh, bugs. There is a game breaking bug in this game and some other bugs that can really make it or break it for some people. So on the sinkhole stage, there was a bug that I actually encountered on the video yesterday when I played this game of me basically infinitely respawning over and over and over again. And that basically makes that stage unplayable. So I actually haven't been playing that stage. I've only been playing the first two stages. So the sinkhole is unplayable and that's very bad honestly i'm not gonna like ignore it being like not bad it is bad because it's unplayable at that state and that's bad and i hopefully it gets patched in the demo or in the full game it's actually fixed uh honestly i think they should make a second beta for this game when it's close to the release so people can try it out maybe add three random stages or something like that i don't know just let people experiment it, send codes out to people like Doc and stuff like that, so they can review it, give you some of, give them some advice and stuff like that. Because having people game test your game is very important for any game, and uh, they really need to do that next time. Because when you have a game like this, it just brings bad, you know, bad talk to your game, and that's that can make people not interested in your game. So that's very bad. And another problem I have with the game is animations. Some characters have animations like Freddy and Chica, but some characters like Mango actually, they're just stiff. Like they're not even moving when they're driving. They're not turning the steering wheel or, or anything. They're just stagnant. They just stay still. So they need to add some animation. So that's how much this game needs worked on. So it's gonna be a while before this game comes on, comes out guys, because there's a lot of bugs in 
need things they need to fix in this game i'm not sure if this is an old beta day this publicly released or something like that or this is actually what stage they're at in the game as of now so it there's a lot of questions about this game i wish i could actually talk to someone about the state of this game but that's probably very secret with uh scott and stuff like that because you know they gotta keep something secret and stuff but i would love to have a talk with someone about the state of the game even though i don't know much about it they need to fix the bugs and stuff like that Buddy, please because i honestly love this game and i want to talk about the game why i love this game so much so this game it, it's 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 just entirely fun i'm having a blast with the game the drifting is very fun i saw some people complaining about it but you just have to get used to it and i basically adapted very fast to it so it's not a problem drifting is not a problem that's just a skill issue uh another thing uh i love like you can remap your controls so at long at first your controls are gonna be very weird like I play on controller because who plays a racing game with a uh, keyboard and mouse. Basically, the controllers when you first start out, they're very strange. Like L uh, L2 is like driving and L1 is reverse. It's very weird. So I'm thankful that we can actually change the controllers and stuff like that because that's not how normal cult games drive. Like that's not how driving games work basically. So it was very nice for me to be able to change that and I very much appreciated it. There's also some secrets in the game that I found like little bit and there's a secret uh, in the grave in the um, second map of the game with uh, a grave you can actually go in. It says no secrets here which is pretty cool. The Keltos, I really like the Keltos looks that they are very expressive despite some of them not moving. I just think they look very cute. I love the designs they gave uh, the animatronics and the cults still pretty cool even though there's only three there's they still look pretty good in my opinion and the maps the maps are really good i really like the map designs they're very fun the, the first one is based like chipples and codes basically both some five nights of funny stuff second one is uh the mini game from pizza we assume little and the third map is the sinkhole from security breach so they really put a lot of detail into these maps and i really like the effects especially with the midnight mode which changes everything so much and it sets a nice each one mechanic in the game that really changes up things from other cult racing games also, the music, I gotta say, I love the music. The music's a jam. I can't wait for it to actually come out, and I'm gonna be listening to it because it's so good. Maybe he'll win in some future videos. But it, the music is very good, and I like how it switches to midnight. Uh, it changes a little bit, which is awesome. I really like that touch of detail. And when the final lap is around, the music changes to be more aggressive and faster, giving you more anxiety so when you're about to beat the way. So, this is what I think about the game. I really like it. I'll give the game a... 8 out of 5, I'm very generous with 5 Nights of Freddy's games because I know this game is going to be good when it fully releases and I really enjoy the game and I think people just taking to have high expectations for this game honestly. Blow it down a little bit guys, but this is what I think about the game. If weird video, I know, no Into the Pit video, I can't record it because I don't have it. it. Sucks, but I want to give some detail about this because it's a hot topic right now in the FNAF community. But today is the official day of the FNAF anniversary, so thank you for 10 years, 5 Nights at Freddy's. But if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I make 5 Nights at Freddy's content every other day. And if you enjoyed that, you might as well just subscribe. But I will see you guys later.